Hey, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. This is a great card. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 71, NASDAQ down 39, S&P's off 2. Gold. Gold contract down $1.60, trading at 2035 an ounce. We had silver down four cents, twenty-two dollars eighty-eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up sixty-nine cents, seventy-eight dollars four cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note down seven ticks, trading one eleven oh three. The thirty-year down four ticks at one nineteen twenty-two. And king dollar, king dollar right now trading. Where are you? Where did you just hide? <laughs> it was down about one hundred and forty-five ticks. Where'd you go? There we go. Uh, down 142 ticks, trading 103,432. Euro at 108, yen 148, British pound at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, let's go into the futures first. You get a flat market out here today. You've added... A small spread in the in the S and P's. We've gone from 48.98 to 48.49.34. Uh, Not a bad spread actually. It's 36 points. That being said, coming into the close, I expect what you're going to see here is you're going to try to get the higher price. You know where where we're at right now is that where we're at, folks, is that that was the down bar that was established out here uh, right after noon this morning. We've been on three bars here trying to take it out thus far. There's not, we haven't done it. Now, the reason that I'm saying that we're going to go into the highs versus the lows has to do with when the last time we got down to the lows, which is about an hour ago, you can see that there's, there's just no sellers down here. You know, it's not that there's not a lot of buyers, but the, when there's no sellers, it doesn't take much to go higher. And then if we take this and put this on a weekly, what you're going to see is that we're already at a higher high on a weekly. So when you finish up the day, traders are going to be looking at that. They're going to say, oh, OK, I see. You take a look at the SPY. Well, the SPY hit a high this week of the 4... 489... Oh, it's just today, 489.12. And right now you're at 487.84. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the Qs. What we have out here with the Qs today is that you're backing down. You're down two bucks. That being said, though, look what look, look, you're almost coming into. You are, you're coming into uh, 44 million. You've done 29 thus far. This still wants higher price too. And then if we take this, let me just put this on a weekly. Yeah. That's interesting, too. Even with a down day today, we're still going to have a higher high on the weekly inside of the NDX 100. And if we go inside the NDX 100 today, look at the strength versus the weakness. You know, you got Airbnb up 5.7, 5 Mercado Libre 3, Charter 2, taken away from it, Intel. Intel down 12%, Clack down 6%. Uh, what's that, General Foods? Oh, no, Global Foundries down 4.7 percent. We go into the note and bond market. Now, notes and bonds have been trying to get off the lows. And, you know, each day, just as the market has been going back and forth, so has in the note and bond market. So what we did out here today is that you got to a price point of the 111.18. You only did 1.3 million contracts, which is way too light. And bottom line, gave it up in price. So we haven't had any movement for the last uh, six days inside of the 10-year, meaning, you know, it's a consolidation going sideways. Right now, the 10-year is yielding 4.15. And we go into the gold market. We take a look at gold. That's also been, well, with the gold, what gold has done is that we rejected lower price yesterday. 
you know, we're not getting any follow through to. That, that's, the, that's the bottom line, is that you, you, yesterday, you come down, you come down with 197,000 contracts, you're going into 250, rejected lower price, and then all of a sudden today, it's like, okay, you go to 228, you can't hold 228. The reduction in volume is huge out here today, so that's not a good in indication that you want higher price. And then we go over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar, and what we have with the dollar is that also been, been on a sideways movement for quite some time now, two weeks. Um, and, you know, bottom line is that if you get a break downtown, that's where the S&P and the commodities want to go high. You get a break uptown, it's just going to be just the opposite. And it's, uh, it's vacillating right around these numbers. You know, it almost reached the... 0.50. The 0.50 is the trading at the 10, approximately the 104 area. On uh, Tuesday, we almost got there, you know. But it still has a real good shot to get there. That, let's put it that way. That's that's how this is setting up right now. Uh, Tesla just continues to go lower. The thing that's so interesting about Tesla. So, you know, of course, Musk blew his brains out on buying Twitter. But when you actually look at Tesla, the bottom line is if he had kept the shares, right? You know, I mean, he made so much money, it's insane. He was selling up here at 400, folks. Tesla right now is trading 182 and wants to trade down to the one. Yeah, it looks like it's going to trade down to 101 again. You know, so it, it's pretty amazing when you think about uh, Tommy, you know, was talking about the, the pay package again and all this. It'd be really interesting. He's going to, he ends up getting the same type of pay package, but yet the stock start now in the hundreds somewhere. Just ram it up to 400 again, take the bread, exercise the options, turn around, and hopefully don't blow your brains out on, another, on buying another Twitter, because that's exactly what he's done. There's no two ways about that. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 62. The Nasdaq's down 38. S&Ps are off 2.5. We have the gold contract uh, trading flat, basically, 2,035. And stay right there, folks. Come right back. Okay.